Okay, question 10. Don't forget to pause the video and have a go at this question if you haven't done so already. This uh, question is all about graph drawing. Um, this is a cubic graph, x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Usually if this was an x squared graph, we'd be looking for some symmetry in our table, but because it's cubic, there won't be. Um, so be careful there. To work out the first value, 1, x equals 1, we've got 1 cubed, which is 1, minus 2 lots of 1, which is minus 2, plus 3. So we've got 1, take away 2, which is minus 1, plus 3 is 2. And then we've got uh, minus 1 cubed, which is minus 1, minus 2 lots of minus 1, which is plus 2, minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, and then plus 3 gives us 5, take away 1 is 4. Okay, now, if you're not sure how to work those out, you can still get quite a lot of these marks, because they get what we call follow-through marks, and just from what you've done, even if it's incorrect, you will still get marks if you do the next part correctly. So complete the graph of that, so you've got a graph set out here with the axes. To complete the graph you need to plot the points and draw the, draw the curve between them. So if we start at minus 2 minus 1, minus 2 minus 1 is going to be here. And then the next point is minus 1 minus 4, no sorry, minus 1 4 which is up here. And then we've got 0 3, 0 across 3 up which is there. And then we've got 1 2 which is here. And then we've got 2, 7, which is here. OK, now that's a little bit confusing, but it does give us the, the standard shape for a cubic, which is, if we start at the bottom, it's going to be quite tricky for me to do this with a pen first time, but we'll try. It goes up, and then down, and then up again. OK, so that's quite a common shape for a cubic graph. The standard cubic graph, which is just y equals x cubed, just comes in to the 0 and out again. But um, in general, cubic graphs go up, then down, then up again. Or if it's coming from negative x cubed, it would come down, then up, and then down again. But it's a it's a it's a quite a common shape that. Okay, so that'll give you two marks. One marks for plotting the points. So this is where you can get marks even if this is incorrect. If you plot those points, you get one mark. If you draw the curve through it, wherever your points are, if you can get a curve through it, you will get two marks. Um, but there's one mark for the points, one mark for the curve. So plotting correctly gives you the marks, even if you got these values wrong. Now, um, a gift of mark down here. Write down the number of solutions to the equation. Um, x cubed minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. Um, I've got a feeling when I marked this question, I actually was looking for the solution to the equation. And I marked it incorrectly. Um, if I was looking for the solution to the equation, I'd be looking to where this equals 0, which is just here, just below 2. But um, if I'm looking for the number of solutions, okay, there is actually just the 1. So there's one solution, because it crosses in one place. Now with a cubic graph, we can have lots of different answers here. We could have one solution where it crosses once. We could have uh, two solutions, if it crosses once here and then it touched just here and then went back up again. We could even have three solutions when it goes up, comes down and goes up again. Each time it crosses the x-axis, that's a solution. Okay, so there is just the one solution there for one mark.